Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I am going show jumping schooling with Cal and Dali. We've hired a local arena. We're going to jump around a course. So it's going to be not much talking and a whole lot of riding in this vlog. So I'll tell you the plan with the two horses. The plan with Cal is to jump probably like a 135 course and then like a 145 course just to practice some course jumping get back into the swing of things and prepare for our next show, which I believe is going to be a 135 Grand Prix. And then the plan with Dali is to jump, probably go into a 130 course and really practice my lines and the ride ability and having him really come back to me. Everything that I practiced, if you watched the day in the life vlog, everything that I practiced there, because, you know, I was doing the lengthening, shortening, coming back to me quickly. We need to see if we can do it with some big jumps. And then I might jump a few bigger fences as well if he's going well, because the plan is always to step them up further. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm going to go and get them in now, give them a quick brush, pack the car, and we will head off. The boys are loaded up, ready to go. So we are here now, Danny's all tacked up. Thank you, Dad, for driving us. <laughs> and the arena's over there. I know, you're looking very stoic. <laughs> um, anyway, gonna jump Dali first. So we set up all the jumps, I've walked the course. It's a little bit good, like it's all windy, lots of like um, bending lines. So just what we need to practice. I'll get going now. Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a bit of a voiceover to make the video a little bit more interesting and to explain what I'm doing. So this is obviously Dali. He's first up. I'm just warming up here, practicing my lengthening and shortening in the canter, just so he's really listening to me and I have all my gears before I start jumping. Um, this has been really helpful. I think I'm going to start doing it a little bit maybe just before I start my round, just pick up my canter, get him shortened canter back on again and then head to my first jump just to really have him listening to me. The next couple of clips are just me popping some warm-up fences. I don't have a video of all of them. Um, I just pick one jump and warm up over it as if I'm at a show. Um, and then I go straight into a course of about one meter thirty. So here I am on the course. I do actually do the course wrong, so don't learn the course from this round. <laughs> so I just pop over the first fence. I find jumps on the right rein a little bit more difficult with him because he tends to fall out through his left shoulder a little bit so I need to kind of counter bend him a little bit so that's something I need to work on it's something I definitely felt more today when I was doing the jump when I was doing the round so here I get a little bit of a sticky jump and it's a bending line to this double and I just don't feel like I have a good canter so I come around and do that oxer again to try and um, just get a nice smooth round. This is the point of schooling is that I can do these things. So I come around, I do get a nicer jump here, a little bit smoother. I'm looking, it's I think eight strides or maybe <laughs> eight strides to the double. And then here it's another bending line to this vertical, very, very spooky. As you can see, I didn't ride it very well. I kind of just sat there, didn't really commit to either pulling or going. Um, I just kind of sat like a bit of a donkey, so that was annoying that I did that, but I do come around and do it again. This is where I went wrong. I should obviously, yeah, I, I shouldn't have jumped these fences. This is the end of the course. <laughs> so I come around, jump this oxer, and then do the middle part of the course that I missed out. So this next distance is a quite a long four strides, so I ride quite positively down it.
And then we come around to another bending line. So this course was full of bending lines, which was good because I sometimes don't ride them so well. So I got lots and lots of practice today. So here I am just doing that S line again, um, trying to improve the third element of it. So come around very nicely to the double. Here I sit up properly this time and then I'm able to ride forward the last two strides to get a nice jump to the vertical. So now I'm jumping the first half of the course. They're all 135 or 140. He gets a nice jump over that. <laughs> he gives me a little bit of a leap in the counter but we meet the vertical nicely. Now we're coming around to this S line again and he jumps it really lovely to be honest. Very happy with him. So we get our eight strides, nice jump through the double, and then sit up and get a nice stride to the vertical. Then we come around to this long four strides. So I jump this twice. This time I do it in the long four strides. And then I jump it again in the short five strides. Again, really testing my rideability. So I have to ride in quite positive because it's a big oxer and then I sit up and I get the five strides very, very nicely. I was really, really happy with him. And then I just jumped uh -huh. this one oxer for good measure because dad put it up, but it wasn't actually part of the course. So I jumped that and he's very, very happy. Hey guys, just finished riding Dali. He was so good. Oh my gosh. Like, He's just come on so much recently. The rideability is so good. It's so there. And, you know, I really have so many more options for strides. I can go close, I can go along. He listens to me. It's just so, so good. Um, I jumped the course. I actually jumped it kind of the wrong way, but I jumped everything. <laughs> and there was a tricky line with an oxer to a double to a vertical, that vertical there. And it was like on an S bend, which is you know, it's tough. It's tough for him. I really have to have a lot of control. And he just jumped a class. The first time I didn't ride so good to the last, the third part of it, the vertical. And then I went around again and yeah, he, I just sat up, held him and he just popped over the vertical so well. It was a really spooky jump. So I think that's why the first time I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to pull too much because when I used to pull, he would just go dead. Like, you know, he'd lose all the power. But now I can hold and shorten and he has this lovely, powerful, bouncy canter and we can jump anything with it. Like one of those jumps was 140, the second fence, the green fence, when I jumped it the, all around again. And he just, you know, had a little tiny canter and just popped over it, no problem at all. It's so good. So yeah, I jumped the whole course and then I jumped one to seven up two holes. So they were all around 135, 140, mostly 135 I reckon. And yeah, he was just super. And then six to seven is a very long four stride. So I did the long four strides and then I really tested him and did a short five and he just felt so good. He just came back to me perfectly. Really, really good. So happy with him. Really couldn't be happier. Yeah. And then we jumped an ox, so that was 135, 140 probably. And he was just class, just really, really class. I can't get over him. God, I've... <laughs> Dad is just saying you have another good horse. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's definitely catching up with his brother Cal. He's just, yeah, he's great. So, so happy with him. So the plan for the rest of the summer is just to jump some 130s, maybe a 135 at the end of the summer if he's going well. But we just want to keep this confidence up and keep it on a high because he can lose confidence and he has in the past. So we just need to make sure he stays happy. And yeah, delighted. So, so delighted. Now it's time for Cal. So I'm going to try some of this that Mackie sent me. It's like a cool gel instead of using ice packs or cold hosing. Apparently you can just slap this on. So I'm going to try it and let you know. Okay, I am now on Cali Boy. Before Cal used to be my, you know, oh, I'll just pop around and he used to be like, you know, worried about Dali. No, the two of them. Dali was just, I was so excited to jump Dali today, to be honest. And Cal is just pop around, see how he goes. Um, 
he's been going well. The last show he went to, he placed sixth in the 135 Grand Prix in Cavan. So that was really good. I did not vlog that day, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, he was super. I posted the jump off on my Instagram so you can watch it there. Um, but yeah, just going to see how he feels and yeah, practice our turns and lines and get our eye back in the game for our next show. Now we are on to Cal. So this is just two of the warm-up jumps. Obviously I've done plenty of flat work and some smaller jumps before these. This is interesting, this oxer, because I jump it twice and it's just interesting to see my position. So this first time, see how I tip forward at landing? It's not so good. I know it's really minor, but these things really annoy me. <laughs> so then I come around again and I think you can see the difference quite well here. Like, you know, if there was another jump one stride afterwards, I would be in perfect position. It would be no problem. Whereas the previous time it was just tip forward a little bit. So this is the first round I do on Cal. It's about 135, 140. It's basically the same height as the start of Dali's last round, but I put up the rest of the course as well. So here I'm coming around to this S line. And very annoyingly, I made the same mistake again that I made on Dali. Um, I come around to this quite nicely, all good to the double. And then here again, he just pulls me down to the vertical and I just, I don't know, I just don't really commit and I get deep. I, again, I don't know, I just need to either go for it for the long stride or wait um, and just decide and I did neither so then I come around I do the short five strides on Cal because that's much more suited to him but yeah other than that this round is pretty straightforward <laughs> just not a huge amount to say he finds this really easy and this height is definitely like his total comfort height um, so we just have a couple more fences to do but I'll just let you watch it So this is the second round that I do. It's actually one meter 50. We didn't really realize. And then dad just stood beside one of the fences and we measured him when we got home and they were all at least 150 or a little bit bigger. So that was great. <laughs> um, and he just jumps around to the same, to be honest. Here's this S line. The first part's good. We get the nice bending line to the double. And this time I commit to the longer stride to the vertical and it's much better. Much better than getting in deep like I did before. Then we come around to this short five stride distance. He jumps it really well, he listens to me well. Now an oxer and a bending line. He jumps the oxer well, we get a little bit close to the vertical I cut my corner there I think you can see it um, and that's what leads me to being too close to the vertical so that's again me just not writing my bending lines perfectly I just cut them a little bit this one then is good see I go a lot wider there and I meet it on a quite a nice forward stride which is good and then I come around to the last fence and he's just absolutely super. This last fence was like two holes from the top of the wings. And yeah, he just says, no problem, mate. I love him so, so much. Hey guys, so I just finished jumping Cal. Again, pretty good. Didn't touch a pole, jumped around the 135 and then jumped around a seriously big course. They are up to my dad's shoulders and my dad is like six foot three. <laughs> so he's not a small man. Um, yeah, they're really, really big and he jumped super. Well, I will say he possibly didn't, I know it's gonna sound really silly because he just jumped around like 145, 150 course. But he, I feel like he wasn't jumping as, as amazing as I know he can jump. But the reason we kind of came today was for two reasons. 
One was to practice lines and jump a big course because at my house, my arena just isn't big enough to set up like kind of tricky lines like that. Especially like a whole course of them. You know, I can set up one line, but it's nothing like jumping a whole course of tricky lines. And the other thing was just to assess his confidence because as you guys know, at the international a couple of weeks ago, I retired in the last class he jumped. We hit a fence pretty hard. He did jump some fences afterwards, but I retired and I hadn't jumped him since then. And then I went to Calvin to jump the 135 that I said we came sixth in. He did come sixth, he jumped really well, but there was just a few fences where he was just getting a little bit sticky. He was just a bit like, oh, you know, he was just doubting me a little bit, which I don't blame him. I made a really crazy striding decision in the international and he just was second guessing me a little bit, which totally understandable. The, obviously the grand, the Mulling, or the Calvin show went really, really well. He was clear, placed. So it was good, but I just wanted to make sure that our confidence was back to where it was. And it was, he was super, really, really good. There was one or two, maybe like slightly sticky moments uh, in the first round, but then the second round was just class. But yeah, that really kind of spectacular jump that he can do, that comes when he's super, super confident. And like he's confident enough to jump around these courses for sure but it's just not 100 percent. like i know him really well and i just know there's just like a little niggle of doubt but not enough that he's going to do anything about it he's like no i'll go with you but i'm not going to do this crazy big jump because he's like i'm just making sure we we jump these right so really really happy with him popped around yeah he was just super he was really forward actually He's only been on the new feed. I talked about it in my last video. He's on um, he's on the Gain Racehorse Cubes because um, Gain is giving me a bit of a hand with feeding at the moment. They sent me a few bags to try based on what I told them about my horses. So they sent me the Racehorse Cubes. He's only been on them a couple of days, but I mean, if today's anything to go by, he was nice and forward. Um, so hopefully that continues to improve and to see more kind of that power um, he was really pulling me to some fences actually, so that was good. And yeah, just thrilled with him to be honest. So I'm just gonna walk him off now and pop him back into the field. Yeah, I'll probably end the video here to be honest, because I'm not gonna do much more other than go home and ride Mav to be honest. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is definitely a lot more of a riding video, which I personally really enjoy watching. So I'm trying to do a combination of riding, vlogging. You guys let me know what you like to see. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.